Like this line there. You can tell the detail is very, very prominent because, you know, they could have just had them walk in. <laughs> but no, they slid. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeff. So in this video, we're going to check out two dance practices for Voice Planet's Artist Battle Mission. We're going to do Supercharger and On Guard. I used to take French in school. I live in Canada. It was our, it's our second language. Um, on God, I'm just gonna do the English version. I'm so sorry to my French viewers. I tried. We're only gonna do these two, uh, because obviously these are the only performances that are out right now as of this filming. The other three will be coming out next episode and I didn't want to do them because I didn't want to get spoiled. So yeah, for those that are new to my channel, I'm going to do a dance analysis. So basically I'm going to go watch it first all throughout and then I'm going to do a little bit of dissection, whatever I can offer you guys in terms of like insight or like technique, like what's good about it, what's not good about it, what can be improved, etc. Um, for the other three, I may not be able to do it until May. Why? <laughs> I'm going to be going to the Philippines for a family reunion. We're gonna fly out next week. I just don't think I'm gonna have enough time after the episode airs. And then while I'm in Manila, I didn't really wanna do a lot of filming while I'm there because it's a family reunion this time. But of course, Voice Planet, the last two episodes will be during the time that I'm there. So I am going to film those two. Those two only. And that's it. <laughs> Making exceptions for Boys Planet. Because it's a finale, you know? It's it's important. So yeah, if you guys are interested, I have been reacting to the full episodes on my Patreon because obviously it gets blocked here on YouTube. So if you guys are interested in that, link is down below. All right, so we're gonna start with Supercharger first. Let's get to it. Oh, I have to say that um, I haven't watched the full version. I've only watched the broadcast version and of course there's a lot of cuts in that as you guys know so this is my first time going through the entire thing without cuts and also like full frame as well i heard this is much better than the broadcast This has like more hip hop feel right away than the show. A hey, smooth. Nice. Hey. Nice detail on the legs. Love this imagery. That's a nice effect. Here we go. Hey. This is such a complicated song to perform, guys. Hey. <laughs> oh, they changed the staging for this. Because on the show, it was on the side. Big camera angle. Woo! That's a high kick. I did notice that on the broadcast. It was quite high. I love the imageries on this uh, song. Ooh. Ooh. Strong. Oh my god, Sewan, hello. Yeah, the imageries are really nice. Ooh, 
That was a cool effect. Hey, let's go, Wang Zi Hao. Hey, stop. Hey, that was so cool. Oh my god, Selwyn's doing much better here. I, ho I hope that's his name. Okay. Oh wait, let me double check the names. <laughs> Before I go through the dissection, I just want to applaud them actually for being able to pull this off within three to four days, I believe. If you guys are watching the show, you guys know that they only had a short amount of time for uh to get this all ready because it was only haruto that was left behind <laughs> that made it uh past elimination for this song and then he had of course he had to recruit others and some uh trainees have been moved from different songs to this song on the show we saw um it, the tw the first 12 hours that they were able to do this um and they were only able to do the first verse. And I learned, I don't know how true this is. People just tell me on my uh, comment section on my Patreon um, during my reaction there. Um, so a couple of people did mention that they only had three days from that time when they first got together after the elimination and then three days before the actual performance. So I just want to put that into perspective how difficult that is for me. Having been trained in like theater, having been in dance crews, uh, school dance crew, as well as like outside of school dance crews um, and competing and all that, it's very difficult to put together a three and a half minute performance top to bottom within <laughs> three days is insane, guys. Three days is insane. No wonder they didn't sleep you know, on the show. They said, we're going to have to stay up all night. I'm also just talking about the dancing, too, like it's even more complicated when you have to sing live. So you have to learn the songs. And what's I've been saying on this, I've been saying on my reaction on my Patreon that um, this song is really difficult to sing and dance to because there are sections that it's just like, you know, like it's a cappella and sometimes it's just like noise music on, on the instrumentation. So like, it's really hard. And what you need for that is internal rhythm. So internal rhythm, your body and mind is basically the one counting to keep time. You know, like when when we're um, when we're listening to music, there's timing, right? And that's a lot easier to do when you have clear beats. You know, for example, bass, drums, um, and certain instrumentations that, that will prompt your movements. But when it's just like noise around it, I know, I I mean, it's not noise all throughout, but like you know, there are like sections here that are like just noise music, um, and there's no clear beats to it. Um, you'll have to rely on your internal rhythm. So that. And then also within the three days, that's insane. What may have happened here is that they probably were learning in pieces, like birth, you know, like the first verse, then the chorus, and maybe for like, I'm gonna say two days. And then that last day is dedicated on like detailing and fixing problems. I would never do a performance if I knew I only had three days. And this makes more sense actually when Ollie said that I wanna quit. You know, he was like, I want to quit the show. I forgot who he was. I think it was like Haruto who mentioned that, you know, it's, it's, you know, just think of the people who were eliminated, who would rather be here. But, and I was agreeing with Haruto at that point, but, you know, finding out that they only had three days, I can relate more to what Ali said, because if you guys have ever been in any dance competitions, three days is not enough time. Um, it's going to be messy. It's going to be a lot of memorization and it's just a very, very stressful moment for anybody. With that said, though, it is not far fetched. For example, a verse and a, a verse and a chorus can be taught in a workshop or a Broadway audition. You, you will have maybe like an hour to learn the, the first verse and then the chorus. Sometimes it might just be the chorus, depending on how complicated the routine is. Um, in a dance audition for Broadway, for example, right, or like a workshop, um, you'll learn that much, and then you'll need to perf you you'll need to perform it so that they can see what you can do. That is a very high stress environment, right? Which is the same idea here. So it is technically doable to learn that much choreography within a short amount of time. But the thing is. They're not just one person. When you're auditioning, you know, you don't have to be fully, fully synchronized. You know, of course, it'll be nice if you are. But like, 
just to kind of like get the the overall tone and like um movement that is required in your audition just so that you can show off your best but like you, most likely you won't be fully fully synchronized within everybody okay wow that was a lot hold on sorry <laughs> my god i just want to give props to them you know like that's it's um huge kudos huge kudos I like this beginning, this intro, that was very hip hop actually. And they did really well with like getting the vibe and the essence of the choreography. So in this one, it's difficult because of the vibe. It's that low, you know, that low feeling and then having those uh, snaps and nuances within your movements, you know, the hip hop uh, nuances. Because if you don't have that, that intro won't be as effective. It won't have that kind of like, you know, um, very hip hop feel right off the top. So they did a really good job setting the tone. You know, like, you know, like the tough kind of feeling. Um, and then boom, that that big uh, wide movement there as a group. Um, I do wish that Wang Zihao just slanted his body a little bit just so that this is a little bit more symmetrical, but that's minor. They're quite slanted upwards there while Wang Zihao is just a little bit more straight up here it would have been nice I know what Wang Zihao is capable of don't get me wrong here I love him and I've been voting for him um so it's um but if you look at it as uh a, like a symmetry um you just want him to like be slanted just a little bit more yeah it's it's there um it's just a hair I would have wanted a little bit further out but these are just like general comments without taking into consideration what they had like the time frame wise you know like this is totally understandable that these kind of details may have been missed this is probably just like one percent of the entire thing right because they only had three days from what i've heard but yeah if, if they had like you know a couple more days these are the kind of like details that i would have wanted for them to kind of look at hey, hey. I love Wang Zihao's um, little nuances within his body. You can really tell his training is like showing up here with like the shoulders. Like, you know, when, when, it, when it went like boop, boop, <laughs> when his shoulders dropped. Like it's so there's a there's an emphasis there when he when it um, and when it dropped there and same and same thing on the other. There's there's a there's power in that drop and that's hard. What you need for that is definitely to be able to isolate your shoulders. And because of his training in crumping, he's able to really isolate his shoulders and his hands. Great detailing for everybody all across the board because like how low they went. I love the levels. Like that's low, you know, like Wunky, like that's low. Very even with, with Wang Zihao. So the thing about this is having those levels, the level changes. That's crucial for it to get that hip hop feel that I was talking about in the beginning um going down and being low because hip-hop is like it's all about vibe and low you know it, it, it's mostly low as opposed to um technical skills like contemporary and ballet normally you know it's a little bit upright um but with hip-hop when you're when you need to like go low you need to go low there there shouldn't be any hesitation hey, yeah love that that was very synchronized That was also really cool. Very, very, very fast. I just love the dynamics in this thing. Like, it's true. Some people on my uh, Patreon, they were like, yeah, you got to react to the dance practice because Supercharger, they, they, the, they kind of like took up the soul from like the show because of the editing and like, you know, the frames that they were using. Like, you're not going to be seeing the entirety of the choreography. And this one, love this one. Um, I was gonna say I also love the formation changes so far. It's very smart, and that translates into like imagery. Um, and here, great detail for the elbows. That's something that you know they worked on. Um, because look at the angles. Like that's that's nice angles. Um, with doing elbow work, sometimes some people be like over here. Like you know, it's kind of like here, but like when you go up like that, it's there's a difference, right? Like. 
Kudos to Taco too. Like, look how high his elbow is. I love that. A. The vibe. Oh my god, I love it. Yeah, it's it's really the vibe here. They did work on that on the episode. They they showed the choreographers coming in and they talked about the vibe. And you can tell they listened well. So that's huge kudos to them um, that they were able to adapt that um, that vibe because those vi the vibe will uh, really show in those like softer moments because with like powerful movements you can almost kind of forgo the vibe the groove that kind of thing because it's powerful it's fast uh, you know what you really need there is the sharpness uh, but when you're when it goes softer um, it's a lot more you, you notice the vibe more because it, it's slower you can you can really see the movement within your shoulders within your essence of the body so them being able to really just um, take into account the vibe during the dynamic during the portions where it get, goes slower that's incredible <laughs> Right? There's a lot of moments where you need, like, the vibe there. Yeah, this imagery is so cool. I love it because it's a, it's, it's a, it's not a symmetrical, symmetrical image. Um, and it's almost, it's, it's competition level, that kind of imagery. That was really nice. Look at, look at this. Okay, wait, I got a comment too. Like, Wang Zihao hasn't, he, he's definitely one of my favorites on the show, Um, obviously because of the dancing, but it's been really hard to get like lines out of him because obviously he's not getting a lot of edits Um, and he doesn't get a lot of like rap lines. They kill this love. I, I was, I was milking what he had, <laughs> Um, but like, it's nice to, to, it's nice to hear a different tone in him. Um, there's a little bit more singing um, in this song too for him, and I like his tone on it. It's actually quite brighter than um, than what I had expected. I would have thought that a little bit lower register, but no, it's a little brighter and like lighter of a of a tone. That was so sharp. So here's the moment where you can barely even hear the music if there was anything. I feel like it's almost a cappella at that point. So from that, like, it's just you drop the entire thing and then you have to be in tune with everybody during that moment for the choreography. Like, that's difficult. If you have mirrors in front of you, 100% that's a lot easier. But on the show, there are no mirrors, right? Like on the on the actual performance. Um, so getting the timing for that to be fully synchronized, um, it's, it's incredible. Yeah, so for, for that supercharger part, um, you need to really establish those uh, imageries in between. I know it's, it's quite fast. Like this level, like you need, you really need to hit those. It it establishes that moment. Um, it's finishing the moves and, and making sure that you hit those. Um, because if if for example you're kind of like anticipating the next move, it's not gonna be as established that imagery within this section. By the way, also like this positioning is quite tough. Um, because you body roll backwards and then you have to engage your core to really be able to balance yourself to go uh, backwards. I love Haruto's uh, imagery here the best, his, his, the way he holds this. You can really tell how, how engaged his, uh, his core is, and he's quite low as well. So his, um, his balance and control is incredible. I mean, all of them were able to, to do that, but like, I just love Haruto's form the best here because it seems like he's a little bit kind of like gone back as well. The arms are strong. See, Wang Zi House thing is so bright. It's tall. Nice. Oh, gotta give props to Ali for performing with a freaking cast on. You know, he's he hasn't had the 
easiest time on the show. Like on the first challenge, right? Like on the Here I Am uh, Signal Song mission, he was sick, so he he wasn't even he was he wasn't even able to be there uh, for the most for the whole filming. I think. Um, I think he got an automatic zero because he um like zero stars because he wasn't able to compete in that section and then now he has like a cast like that's insane like this whole thing has just been tough for him okay so unki gotta give props as well for his versatility from feel special to this song are you kidding me i love where his register is for the singing his um he was able to also like go more powerful and like also have that vibe um and then i want to touch on <laughs> this that thing um it's basically it's a high kick right um let's see how high oh my god did you guys did you guys do this like this is the highest you can go Freaking Haruto, holy shit, that's fucking high. Also, mind you, it's the left foot. Um, okay, depending on how flexible you are, like for me, my right foot is more flexible. So I can actually have my right foot high, like Haruto's, but I would not be able to do that on my left. So kudos to them if they're able to do that, if they're flexible like that. For you to be able to do this move as the higher you want to go, you need to bend your other foot because when you bend that the lower that goes the higher your right foot will be able to go the straighter it is the the straighter your leg is the harder it will be to go up that high unless you're very very flexible you know, like if you can do the splits and stuff like that like standing up So for that one, um, the sitting down may have been quite awkward to do. Um, it's kind of it's it's fine. It's your butt finding that where it's comfortable in that section, right? Um, it's it's where you land. You can either end up being too further back, too too front, and that will determine how your look is for that moment. And for example, if you miss that on the live performance, like if your butt misses where you're supposed to sit, it's over. <laughs> that was so strong. So this, uh, this section is a lot easier to synchronize because it's very structured movements. Structured, movement, structured movements are a lot easier to synchronize because they're straight lines. Because um, you can easily fix that with leveling. And also these are like, boom, boom. Like, you know, there's, a hard, there's hard beats there. So when you hit those beats, it's like a great guide to like put all your power there and strengthen your lines. So that was, that's why that was really cool. Ooh, love that line on Takuto. Hello. Hold on. This line. Look at this line. Oh my god. Takuto. Hello. I gotta give props to him because like from what I've seen on the show, he has a slow learning curve. So um, because of that, he gets left behind, right? And people have to kind of like help him out so that he can catch up in terms of learning. But like these kind of moments is what shows potential. I really like this uh this form and body line for him. That's a nice body line. That's cool detail. They had those like hand things as they were moving forward. So with this one, I would have wanted a little bit more drop this one um i would have wanted a little bit more angle so for that to happen is just like go down a little bit more like your um left foot push down a little bit more um and then straighten your leg 
um, a little bit more, just so that that imagery is more angular. That would have just been a better detail, but I 100% get it. Like, I always have to remind myself that, you know, they've only had three days. So whatever they have is, like, really good already. Like, props to them, right? But, like, yeah. Um, Detail-wise, if they had more time, that's something that would have, like, really enhanced this imagery. Just because it's so prominent. <laughs> Lots of formation changes too. Woo! Love that. Hey. Heavy. Nice. You can tell they worked on this section quite really well. Hey. Woo! Haruto! Oh my god. Um, okay, I wanna go back a little bit. I just love that going down, you know, it's so cool with the music, the choreography for that one. It's like, it's like very like Transformer-like, which is so cool. And then here, the, the foot out, hold on. This part here, that's a hard image to do. And that's why they're not fully synchronized there. Um, it's really hard. Okay, so here, it's because of the isolation of your leg. Your leg is out. Um, and it's like like this body line that's a hard thing to do, especially in that speed, in that speed. For example, like Unki doesn't even get the uh, enough time to have his leg stick out the way, you know, for example, so one is doing that, right? Um, but you know what? It's, it's fine what they did here, given the amount of time that they had. Uh, but I got to let you guys know how hard this part is to do, um, even for pros. Um, it's because it's that, like, it's that coordination, you know, the bend, like, it, it's bent, it's, it's hard to explain, it's bent outwards, like, try it, it's like going out like that, um, the, the foot, and if you don't, if you're not able to isolate your, your leg that way, it's gonna be, it's not gonna be as firm, the, the imagery and the line that you're trying to, uh, produce there. I love that part, so strong, this one. Love Wang Zihao's body lines here and strength. The, the thing about Wang Zihao that I really like is he's able to control his power. That's one of the hardest things for a lot of people who are, you know, very powerful. Because it can appear too powerful and then hence lose control, right? Because you're throwing all these moves and giving them strength. So being able to control that power is a very good skill to have as a dancer. Um, and you can tell, you, you can really tell um, Wang Zihao's um, training here, you can really see it because he's able to control those heavy, heavy movements and still blend in with everybody as well. I love that movement for Haruto. Oh my God, it's so cool. Like, it's so satisfying to watch. Hold on, I'm gonna watch it again. Like, like, boom, bam. Ah! <laughs> it has that, like, mm, mm, like that kind of feeling. Wait, one more. <laughs> hey, hey. Ah! God, that was so cool. Those kind of moments are, like, so satisfying to hit as a dancer. It's that, like, snap. Mm. Oh, my God, damn. Wait, hold on. One more. <laughs> it's so cool. Hey. <laughs> so good I did that list that leg out after. <laughs> oh my god, okay. I gotta give props to Soen as well because Um I feel like I didn't really notice this on the actual broadcast, but like the way he's moving is actually really cool. Um very he, he's able to manage fluidity and like strength. So he's quite versatile. Um I don't know if it's because of the cuts on the show and the broadcast or like I was focusing on like other dancers at specific moments um but I really like his lines here like look at that oh my god like Takuto hello he's quite bent down like hello the control boom Boom! Look how low he goes. Kudos. You gotta get props. Um, of course, you know he his uh his movements in certain areas um lack power and strength, but that's something he can still work on. 
Um, but like these kind of moments where he's able to like actually like lean back and engage that core and control, like that's balance, right? But that makes sense though because he can do um the backflips. So there's huge potential there. Give him two more years and he'll be he he could be really cool. Um and again going back to like Haruto again like that's that engaging core like him and and Takuto here great control going back. But as a whole, I would have wanted a little bit more leveling right but i gotta always keep going back to the three days i always gotta think about it yeah nice good job guys oh my god good job could huge kudos all right next one we are gonna go to on guard hey Clock. Nice detail with the tippy toe. Woo! Hey, beautiful. Woo! This is hard. The floor. Hey, come on, Guven. Hey. Nice imagery. Oh, we got someone's voice. Hey. Those lines, though. Woo! Hold on. Hey. Nice. Hey. Ooh, nice detail at the back there. Woo! What the? We're losing a lot of detail on the show. What the fuck? This is such a good song. Great dynamics. Hey, nice detail. Oh my god! You did! What the fuck? Changes too. Hey, nice hips. They're very synchronized. Hey. Hey. So strong. Ooh, that pop. Woo. Okay. So this is what I think they have like a week per challenge so basically what i'm trying to get at is like they have a longer time frame than the other group right i love this song when when after i heard it i feel like they should have almost reserved this song for like the final lineup <laughs> to like as a as a title track or like b-side because it's so good and the choreography is so intense and satisfying right so before i get to it the what i love about this choreography the most is the suspensions so basically, because it goes, um, there's a lot of very satisfying kind of drops in there, like in terms of choreography and when, when certain sections are suspended. Because you go hard, 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 and boom, suspense. Like, it's so delicate during those moments. And sometimes we do find the beauty in like the slower songs, in the slower moments of the songs, right? Um, it doesn't always have to be power, 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 power. You've got to have those like quieter intimate moments within a choreography as much as I for personally for me anyway as much as I love those huge powerful movements I love those sections when it's just like very detailed you know? and that's probably why a lot of the the star ma masters love this part because those intricate moments 
are so satisfying. Nice, nice line there. The thing about um, Ganuk, oh my god, it's just like one second in, right? I, the thing about Ganuk that I love is like, he's re really utilizing his proportions. He's got this like long proportions, right? And the way he paints an image with his body, like like this one, like it's so magnificent that that body line right it's very well controlled he's utilizing like to the toe my god to the tips of the fingers like and then that head up great great detail you can tell they had enough time to do go, to go over the details with the other team they did as much as they can but there were some detailing that could have been better if they had more time right but here they had enough time um, so I really appreciate this, uh, this detailing. And like, that was very delicate too. It's, he's not rushed at all. He's taking his time. He's finishing his moves. So that's one thing that a lot of, uh, dancers may fall trap on. Some dancers may anticipate the next move too much. So hence, they don't finish the moves. This one, like, they, they probably, like, went over that thing so many times that's a hard thing to synchronize <laughs> right that like clock thing um because that's on the wrist so you got to be able to really control your wrist and then really isolate your wrist from the rest of your arms so your arms don't move love that part oh my god um <laughs> hold on <laughs> Uh, the, the, the papa. I love that detail of the movements according to the music. Um, and then followed by this imagery. I love the tippy toe. Um, that makes the whole imagery bigger. Um, especially when it, I think they go like this. When so so it's kind of going small and then outwards, right? And it's just like so much bigger. And then with the tippy toe, it you, it elevated too. That's so sharp. That was so sharp. Oh my god. This is gonna take an hour. <laughs> Seeing so many details. I also love the facial expressions, like Songhuan's. Wow. Like that kind of facial expressions. My god. And then the angles there. <laughs> wow. And then going down to the floor. <laughs> Jesus. Um, hold on. This this whole section, this whole sequence. Love that. Boom, boom. Very synchronized, very angled. Ooh, nice nice um so here you can't be lazy at all floor work is difficult because you're on the ground your body's on the ground hence the gravity's pulling you in different directions you're not just like controlling what you know set your center <laughs> right as when you're standing up um there is a lot here that we don't normally do like this kind of when you hold this um, the detailing that you would have wanted to do here is like the um, having your pelvic uh, muscles go uh, forward so that this line, the shape here, is straight. Because that will really give that imagery that they're trying to do. Um, that's a hard thing to do. It's momentary though, so that was okay. What they did is actually even better than I thought because... It's momentary. So the tendency might be to just kind of do it sloppy to kind of like, okay, I'm here and then go down to this position right away. No, they really took their time with going from the previous move to, to that position. So here, take their time, boom. They really finished the moves and established that imagery before they went to here. So great musicality. Hey. Love that detail. Guvin, actually, whew, uh, watching the broadcast, I feel like we lost a lot of Guvin's detailing. Um, so I was thinking, on my, and I said it on my reaction, that um, I feel like he's one of those dancers that are much better live. Like, he, he dances well on the, on the broadcast, but, like, live, he must have been incredible. Because there are some... There are a lot of dancers that are like that. And I use this example. When you go to a K-pop concert, right? If you've ever been to a K-pop concert, you will start to notice different members that you didn't notice before because they perform much better live. Not that they don't perform, you know, well on screen. They do. But like in real life, they're much better. I'm sure you've had those moments where you're bias wrecked. 
um, when you go to a concert and see them live. So I feel like Given is one of those. Um, also given that he's uh, won two of the challenges already, right? Like he's placed first. Um, so I'm actually seeing a lot of details here that we don't normally see on the broadcast. Like that sequence there was very fluid. It's impressive because of his height. He's very tall. So um, let's look at it again, right? He's very swift. Like that moment with the um, with the switcheroo, with the feet. His feet are so light. So people who are taller, it's harder for them to, to dance um, because obviously there's a lot more bones. The taller you are, basically, it's like the longer your limbs are. And then so it's a lot harder to bend and be light. And it's just like creating shapes and stuff. It's like, especially in hip hop, um, it's, it's a lot harder. If you look at the street man fighter, um, a lot of those professional dancers, there's they're not that tall. They're not like six feet and above. A lot of them are below six feet. Um, some of them probably even like you know five six, like that five six to five eight, probably a very ideal height for like hip hop dancers, um, because you can really like be fluid and go down and like do all those kind of things, right? Um, so I really I'm really impressed by that the switcheroo and that was that seemed very effortless. A. Love that imagery. Oh my god. <laughs> this song is so good. Like it's so symmetrical. They must have like worked that to the bone. Cause like the tendency would have been like if you don't work on this detail wise, um, at least one side will be off, right? But like because they detailed it so much, the that opening is so symmetrical. Love someone's voice on that. A. Go. I actually want to repeat this uh, chorus several times to look at different people. But for example, like Ganuk there, because he's the center, very, very powerful. I do feel like he's much powerful on the show um, because there was a punch when he was, um, when, you know, when Sung Hwan and them and who, and we and like, the entire team pulled this prank. And they made him re-audition again for his, for the center or for the highlight. He, w I feel like he was a lot more powerful there. Um, and I, I feel like I, I prefer those like hard emphasis. But maybe he had to pull it back just a bit because the harmony of the entire image would have been maybe off. Because when you're auditioning for the highlight, you got to give it your all. You don't really have to match anyone's energy but your own. But like when you put yourself in the group. It's like, how do you harmonize that? How do you create harmony? You know, if not every, if, if everybody does that punch, it might be too much for the song, right? So I feel like maybe he might have had to like pull back just a little bit on that strength because one person doing a very powerful movement um, is going to be very, is going to be equivalent to um, a, a entire team with like slightly less power because there's more of you. Because when there's more of you, it's more powerful, right? So it balances out. Oh my god, like look at that. Oh my god, he's about to kill us. Oh, love that picture that they're painting. It's so strong. This part here, like, damn, look at that body line. Like, damn, everything is engaged. Everything is engaged. Like, this thigh here, and then like the tippy toe for all of them, you know, like, that's crazy. That's a very difficult sequence to do because it's so fast and it goes like from one side to the to to down. So you really do need to be synchronized there. And you it just it just shows how much they worked on this. Um because it's almost like like a like a wave, like a like a ocean wave. You know when an ocean wave goes like this? It's 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 it felt like that. That's how in tune they are when they moved. They moved as a whole. Love the detail there too. Like, ah, like that little thing. Oh my god, it's it's all in the details, guys. I'm like, <laughs> they gotta go bananas. And then, uh, boop, boop. The musicality is insane. Jesus. <sighs> hey. Nice, nice shoulder pop. Like this one, you know, like 
It's so satisfying to watch. Eight. Nice. Love that. He really established the the imagery there. Junhyun. Um, very sharp. Boom. Love that. Love that too. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. They. Oh my god, this is so fucking complicated. <laughs> ah! Like this line there. You can tell the detail is very, very prominent because, you know, they could have just had them walk in. <laughs> but no, they slid. Um, and then the, this imagery too. Like, I think Ganuk really did well as a highlight because of all the shapes that, he, that he's creating. He's basically a vase. <laughs> um, I don't know how else to, like, uh, mention that. I feel like he's a vase in, like, a table, right? Like, he's just a centerpiece. That's what a highlight is. He's a centerpiece. And whenever he creates imagery, it's just so strong. This is so incredible. I feel like we lost that detail completely in the broadcast. I don't even remember that at all. Maybe I was too busy, like, absorbing Song Hwan's uh, vocals because he's been rapping uh, for a couple of the challenges. And I know that he's a much better singer than he is a rapper. And I'm so glad he, that he got vocals this time because his his tone is beautiful. Um, but, like, this detail for, like... Boom, like that. Look at Hui's line there. Oh my god, it's almost like you know that painting. Like, it's that kind of like, uh. <laughs> um, love that he's looking to the tips of his fingers because it does move his head up and that creates an extension for the body line. I would have wanted for them to both have pointed their toes a little bit more for here, but maybe it's the choreographer didn't want that. But but I just feel like if the toes are pointed, it would have been just a little bit more elongated right i just like he's um the sh the shoulder up being up just a little bit more to the audience so that we get a little bit more of the structure um so that would have been an, uh, an easier fix for given to, to just to like lift up his uh his other hand but i'm guessing they didn't really establish what the move was for that hold on oh okay so it's just um it's either given um, moved his hand back too early or we had it too late it's one of those two but that's going to be a difficult uh, detail to have anyway because um one they're not looking at each other right they're looking at opposite ends um and they're not looking at the mirror so yeah i mean nobody really noticed it anyway because of the broadcast cuts so that's okay This is such a satisfying choreography. I love uh, Gu the Gubin's um, head work there. <laughs> head work? Boom, boom, boom. It's just so established into the beat. And that's, I feel like it's a little bit harder to pull off because he was moving forward. Because, you know, I feel like you would have been dizzy doing that movement and then you're moving forward, right? So him, like, really establishing those, like, beats when as he moves forward... So cool. Nice harmony. A. Nice. Shoulders. A. Ooh. That's a complicated. Boop, boop. That's a great detail in terms of choreography. Oh my god, there's a lot of details here. Boom, boom, boom. Um, if I'm gonna be picky, <laughs> I'm sorry. Because it's just so cool. This image, I would have established how far your arm is because it's different for everybody um maybe these three here are like more um established how far that last one is um it's just because it's so satisfying boom 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 and i mean it's cool already but like if they had 
hit this imagery with like establishing how far that hand is to your body if they would have um gotten that like perfect it would have been so cool i would have been like Ooh. but it, nonetheless it was really complicated anyway and it's really nice still i love hiroto's rap oh my god that was Gubin's like level boom bang. Like, and that and that boom oh, that was so satisfying um, again, it's hard for taller people to go down because it's a lot more way to go. So it does require a little bit more like agility. Um, if you're not agile and you're like taller, you're going to be so late in a lot of the movements. So him being able to go from like that height to like low and then snap back up is agile. Right here too. Boom. A. Oh God, I'm tired for them. Good thing some moves repeat because that helps them memorize it faster. So that last bit actually, um, it requires a lot more push to go from here than up because you're it's you're at the end of the performance and you've been hammering it since the beginning right and then that last push is like that kind of feeling of like okay we're almost there we're almost there you're like so you're it's stamina breaking right so by the time you get here and then you have to go like that and then you really need to push yourself up at the same time so huge kudos to them for being able to synchronize that moment because i feel like a lot of people who are not as stamina there if you get too tired by the end of this it's gonna be so hard for you to get up it's we know all this you know we, we know how hard it is to get up when we're fucking tired like it's like oh my god like it's not feeling um but huge kudos to them for synchronizing that too <sighs> ah right okay i see why given um almost went all the way to the back because in the in the broadcast right they had that extra piece at the end where they mo uh walked back and then turned around so i can I, like because if if you look at given he, he's almost like walking and then it's like there right he didn't really establish that but that's totally fine that's not a call out or anything it's just it's funny because they have an alternate ending here than the broadcast that those little changes can really fuck up your mind. Imagine if one of them, not not just Guven, you know, if one of them um kept walking back, like I would have been I would be so frustrated because you just did a full run through and it was like perfect. And then you you do the the other ending and you're like, fuck. <laughs> okay, so as I'm filming this is uh, an hour. <laughs> huge huge kudos to these guys for being on the show because it's a very very high intensity survival show it's been stressful every single day between the drama and like the actual performances and getting ready for it it's just it's a lot it's a lot to be in a survival show so if you guys missed the intro i did mention that i'm only doing these two here because we've only seen these two performances as a whole in the um, in episode nine the other three performances will be in episode 10 i believe and that hasn't aired yet as of this filming so yeah if you guys want to see my full episode reactions um the, it is available on my patreon i do talk about a lot of the kind of like competition aspect of it like about the process and uh, using my experience in dance and theater um and also what i know about the industry so yeah um it is available on the patreon link is down below if you guys want to see those because it gets blocked here that's why i can upload it here and yeah can't wait for episode 10 keep voting guys every vote counts <laughs> all right thank you guys so much for watching with me today i hope that you enjoyed it and if you did do like and subscribe and if you do subscribe make sure you check that notification bell so you don't miss out of content from me and if you'd like to get to know more about me do check out my instagram tiktok and patreon down below